Hello everyone. Up to now, we discussed about the, the short pitch winding and the distributed winding, the importance of the short pitch winding and distributed winding, so which will be involved in the EMF. So now we should discuss about advantages of the distribution winding. So when we should discuss about the advantages of the distribution winding, we will understand clearly when the distributed winding is compared with the concentrated winding because both are both are different parts then we will understand easily so look at here in the distributed winding in the distributed winding for example these are the slots the slots are equally distributed so this is the we can take this is the winding actually this is the winding so in the concentrated winding just look at here we have the three generally three layers uh, three phases we have and all the all are all the slots having the only only one slot we are connected like this three phases are connected over it la, only one slot okay first point the importance of the distributed winding it is mechanically balanced well it is mechanically balanced well look at here so here mechanical balance is equal because these three slots have three windings but here just observe here only one slot having three windings one slot having the three windings and heat is uniformly distributed here the heat, whenever heat means the slots having the phases means current will flow through these slots and whenever the current through the windings then automatically heat will induces but the heat is equally distributed here heat is only available only these one slot and this is not equally distributed so th this may be damage next second point dominant harmonics can be eliminated this is a very very important thing very very important thing. here dominant harmonics can be eliminated Dominant harmonics can be eliminated by the distributed winding. Next, depth of slots is less compared to the concentrated winding. Here generally, depth of slots means generally whenever slots are designed, slots are designed like this, it has some depth. It has more depth for the slots. But in case of concentrated winding, it has the less depth. So that's why depth of the slots is less compared with the concentrate winding then the leakage flux and inductance so leakage flux value is less and inductance value is also so less voltage drop and therefore whenever the voltage drop is less automatically the voltage regulation will be better so by this distribution winding voltage regulation will also be improved will also be improved better not not improved not better actually improved that means less voltage drop is possible less voltage drop is possible and now we should understand some term of uniformly distributed winding uniformly distributed winding Uniformly distributed winding, the winding will be distributed very uniformly for the all the slots. Here we can replace we can represent KDU. Uniformly distributed winding KDU equal sin m gamma by 2 by m gamma by 2 into 5 into 180. Into 5 into 180. Then it is called uniformly distributed winding. So this is the important point. So you should make it, it should be useful. KDU equal M sine gamma by 2 and M gamma by 2 into 5 by 180. So this is about the advantages of the distribution winding and uniformly distributed winding. Next, we will discuss about the elimination of harmonics. The next is the elimination of harmonics. So we are discussing short pitch factor and the distribution factor these things are used the main reason is the removing the harmonics 
because harmonics are mixed with the sinusoidal waveform the fundamental waveform then the emf shape will be disturbed emf shape will be disturbed so in order to get the proper emf we should remove this harmonics right next elimination of harmonics first the field side what are the uh, what are the precautions we should take for the field side here first we should di discuss about the what is the reason for field side harmonics the reason for production of harmonics is non sinusoidal flux distribution in the air gap generally emf production means emf production is done is proportional to flux flux is increases the emf induced on this also increases so here the flux is non sinusoidal distributed then automatically emf is also non sinusoidal dis distributed here flux where the flux will come flux will come from the field of the machine field of the vision so field side we should take care we should apply the sinusoidal flux next by chompering the salient poles chompering the salient poles here generally chompering means generally we have the salient poles construction is like this it is the uniform air gap between the pole and the armature is available the chompering means the edges is decreases edges width will be decreases this pole edges the width will be decreases then chompering will be done so by the chompering we will get sinusoidal flux sinusoidal flux we will get the sinusoidal flux so then that sinusoidal flux will give the sinusoidal emf second by skewing salient poles salient poles skewing means generally the salient poles is like this salient poles is like this yes by applying skewing means we should keep some angle we should keep some angle then it is called the skewing by doing the skewing also we will use but there is a problem with skewing of the salient pole the problem is not possible for mechanically it is generally it is not possible because it is a less stable it has a very less stable that's why it is not mechanically not possible next third point by distribution field winding is cylindrically rotor synchronous machine so so these are the two met two methods and it is a third method that is by distributing field winding field winding is used as a distributing field winding for cylindrical rotor so now we should use simply a cylindrical rotor is there then automatically the field winding also the distributed winding so field winding we should go for the distributed winding when we are using the distributed winding then automatically almost sinusoidal flux will be generated fourth by increasing the air gap length and the effect of the non uniform air gap can be reduced so effect of the then the whenever the air gap is increases air gap is increases then it will be also very useful so this is a very important point in case of the alternators when air gap increases flux will be also sinusoidal so these are the four methods for the field side first is chompering the salient poles second is skewing of the salient poles and third we should use um, distributed winding for the field fourth by increasing the air gap length the non uni non uniform air gap is reduced next so we should make it some note for this the note is generally synchronous machines are designed with the large air gap length for following advantages by using the large air gap we have some advantages first is flux distribution is improved flux distribution is improved second stability is more it will become the more stable and stable parallel operation 
we can perform the stable parallel operation also next so we should make some some modification to the armature side then we will remove the harmonics first with short pitch winding the lower order dominant harmonics can be eliminated dominant harmonics means 3 5 7 by using the short pitch factor kp next with distribution winding higher order harmonics can be eliminated so kd higher order harmonics can be eliminated the higher order harmonics means maybe the 9 11 13 like that these harmonics can be eliminated next by connecting star and delta so generally three phase system is connected two types one is the star connection another one is the delta connection triplet harmonics can be eliminated triplet means 3 9 9 12 15 like that 3 9 15 these are the triplet harmonics can be eliminated in the line voltages generally in the line voltage itself it is be eliminated next slot harmonics can be eliminated with fractional slot winding also by skewing the armature slot so we are preferring the fractional slot winding then we will remove the we will remove the slot harmonics so in the slots also harmonics will be generated those all are eliminated by the fractional slot winding okay so this is about armature side removing of the harmonics these are about the uh, freely side removing of the harmonics okay finally here the important thing is to make it to make the emf generated by the emf generated by the alternator is by using both short pitch winding and the distribution winding and we should do some modifications then automatically we will get the more sinusoidal emf okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you